like to say Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh the Father, Wah, Yahweh Shai the Son. Also give a double honor to LGMS and honor to Akim, peace and blessings to so brothers and sisters that listen to Hopeful Elect, because that's what it's all about. It's all about the Hopeful Elect. That's it, man. The elect of what nation? The Israelites. You Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. The elect of you. Alright? The remnant that was chosen before the foundation of the world. Are we supposed to be sighing and crying for all the abominations that is done in the midst thereof, man? Not having no Hebrew Israelite award show, man. That's totally going on, man. That's going on. We ain't achieved the victory yet. All right, let me read the first precept. Okay, this is what we're supposed to be doing, man. And them guys that be doing that, they never go out and preach. They never ever go out to the streets. Because you're having award shows. Where's your works, man? Where's your works, man? Okay, you're supposed to be condemning these wicked people out here, man. That's our job, man. Until Yahweh Shai bring forth this wrath. Okay? Until the famine of the word. Ecclesiastes chapter 36. Start with this. Ecclesiastes chapter 36 verse 12. It says, O Lord, O Yahweh have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. And who's that? Israel, Yasharala. He is a prince of the power, man. We're princes of the power. Right now we in slavery and captivity. You know, underneath the most wicked beast that has ever ruled. Esau, Edom. Okay? The so-called white man today. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Alright? Excuse me. Huh? Uh, have you already given any report to just take in the $45 and set yourself up with, uh, I got one of those, uh, you know, uh, like boombox deals that come up about this high? No, 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 no. We good, we good. We don't need that. Because I'm talking about terms of putting your message out. No, no, we good, we good. The main message, it goes on the internet anyway. Yeah. That's the main message. Okay, because that's totally yeah. I'm, I'm the concern, the concern for him. Yeah, yeah. His mind, I go on YouTube also. Yeah. But, uh... Is this going on at a specific time, or how does that work? Oh, well, we usually put the videos up. I usually put the videos up either Sunday or Monday. Yeah. Well, some brothers, most brothers, they live stream. Live stream. But I can't live stream on my account because I got strikes against it. You got strikes against the account on YouTube. You can't live stream. I got I to gotta get, gotta get more into that. Yeah. You Everything know. is not the internet now. You see? So it don't go out in vain, because you have a lot of people who look ask questions this that and third, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see, because uh, if I get a ticket, I'm going to get time. I'm getting, a, I'm trying to get a new uh, phone today, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the era we live in now, everything yeah. is a smartphone, yeah. <laughs> smartphone and ignorant people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you hit it on the head. It's just like when I was in the military, we have smart bombs, but Ignorant leadership. Right, right, right. So you part of the military, you know this is coming. I'll yeah. show you a martial law. I know that they're trying to push for it. Yeah, right, right. I know that's what Trump is trying to do. Got you, got you. I'm no damn fool. I mean, you know, that's why I try to tell people, be cool. Right, right. Because, see, that's why he's ag trying to aggravate situations. Right, right. Because he wants to have the excuse. Right, right. Been in martial law. Yeah. And he wants to bring it in Chicago, man. Yeah. That would be the first place. Chicago first. I did, I would say New York, LA. Yeah, urban city. Yeah, okay. 
coming back out. All right, that's good. I am, uh, I am looking seriously. Uh, my 2020 uh, going back overseas. Getting out of this country. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it because uh, you got inside information. What's coming? I mean, we already know because I prophesied. We prophesied according to the scripture. I'm holding on to it because my thing is so flaky. Okay, so you want me, you want me to hold uh, on? Yeah, hold this on. is the concern form. I'm there to say all the time. Just know the concern form. Oh, okay, okay. And you'll be able to catch up with it. Oh, okay. You know, some of it you might disagree with, some of it you might agree with. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But uh, the point is, I'm trying to get people at least to start thinking. Gotcha. You too. All right. Now let me read this preset. You know, which we don't have to move out. I thought it was gonna rain. I don't know, man. This weather's funny, man. <laughs> but um, but I was saying um, to that brother, we don't gotta move anywhere, man. You know, the prophets of the Lord, we ain't going anywhere, man. We staying right here. We'll watch this bitch burn. Okay, and Lord willing be saved. Like I was reading this precept, Ecclesiastes chapter 36, verse 12. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. And we are the firstborn. Okay, meaning what we're chosen by Yahweh Hashem Yahushad, and the firstborn is Yahweh Shad. Okay, we were the last nation to set up. That's the nation that the Most High chose. Read on. It says, "O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thine unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. And the unspeakable oracles are mysteries." Okay. Verse 16, and we all know the the, the, the oracles are set up right now, the 144,000, man. Okay, the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, which we're breaking down the mystery starting from the apostles and the elders on down. Okay, but he have ears to hear, let him hear. Read on, it says, Give testimony unto those that hast thou possessed from the beginning. Who was possessed from the beginning? The elect, man. Okay, the elect. All right? from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name and what's his name Yahweh is the father and Yahweh Shai is the son man which are the two names you're going to need in order to be saved man okay that's the only way you're going to get delivered out of here man you have to call on those two names and the most high is raising up the prophets man that he chose from the beginning okay and we back on the scene, man. And we are here to condemn America, Babylon, you other nations, and two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. Because y'all ain't right, man. Okay? We read on. Read that one more time. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful waiting for that reward okay our works are not in vain man we're gonna get that reward lord willing if we endure okay they say reward thy prophets man matter of fact what did amos say amos chapter 7 verse 14 man, you gotta keep an eye on this all right good amos 7 14 Amos chapter 7, which I believe he was a contemporary of Hosea. I think Isaiah was in that time period too. We you going to Amos, he was from the uh, he was from the southern kingdom. But the most high told him to go prophesy to the northern kingdom. You Hispanic tribes, man. And this is what he said. Amos chapter 7, verse 14.
Pen. Amos 7 11. Let me stop him. And thus Amos said, Jeroboam, so he was during that time period, shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away in captivity out of this land, the northern kingdom. The point is in 14. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer. I'm going to wait for this to pass. Continue on in the spirit, man. It says, um, uh, where was I? Also, Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, and the seers are prophets, man. That's what the channel is called, seers of truth, man. Okay, the prophets are Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. Visionaries, that's what they were called in times past. It says, Go flee away into the land of Judah, because he was sent to the northern kingdom. And there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again anymore in Bethel, for it is the king's chapel and is the king's court. So the prophets went out to the streets, man. In the king's courts, in the gates of the city. Okay, where the people came, the gates, transportation. Like you have right here, man. Trains, buses, okay, business. This is where they were sent out, man. A lot of you guys is behind the computer, man. Okay? Which we use the internet so that the word can spread to other parts of the globe. But the main ministry is always on the streets. It always been on the streets. All right, it says, Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. While well, I heard men and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. Okay, which are, that's like a, a fig tree. So he said, I wasn't a prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. Which is most of the prophets, man. They were common men before they were called, man. And we're grateful to Yahweh by Shimei al that we're called. And we're praying that we're chosen, man. It's about being chosen, man. All right? It says what? And the Lord took me, Yahweh by Shimei al as I followed the flock. And the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shah, said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people is real. And that's what we're called to do, man. Prophesy, man. What are we sent to prophesy? The destruction of America. The uplifting the kingdom of heaven. Power and rulership. <laughs> Let you know martial law gonna come. We tell you every week. The chip gonna come. Race rights gonna come. Even that brother in the military said he knew Trump is gonna bring it. Of course, Trump is the guy, man. Okay, the most I said that devil in there for a reason, man. All his plans he gonna bring forth, man. Okay? We know the racial tension. I got an article I want to pull later. That's a funny article, and that's Esau 100%. Okay? Those racial attacks, these devils that you think is your friend, smiling in your face on your job, patting you on the back. They the devil, man. Okay? And their horns is coming out, man. We told you people that the white man is the devil, Esau, man. Okay? And we're in a time of his downfall, his destruction. And he's going to go down in the Third World's War. And there's going to be insurrections out here. Gas prices are starting to go back up, man. Because that Iranian deal fell through. But let me read on, though. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. Okay? So the Lord said what? Go prophesy unto my people Israel. That's who the prophets are sent out for, man. But we're also prophets of the nation. And he said he was a gatherer of sycamore fruit. Well, let me read too. Read Luke, Luke, the fifth chapter. And that's spiritual because the first fruits are the elect. I guess I have to read that too. That's what the Lord told Peter, what? Follow me and I shall make you what? Fishers of men, man. So we're fishing for the elect. Matter of fact, let me read Luke chapter 5. And it came to pass that in the that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of the Most High, 
He stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And when he entered, went into the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out the little from the land, he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. So the Lord was out there on the streets, man. This time he was in the ship, okay? Teaching the people, man. Okay, he was outside, man. Anyway, it says, uh, Now when he left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch into the deep, and let your net for a draw. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have told all night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Okay, they ain't catch nothing all day. So, and that goes for this truth too, man. You look like people not listening. But when the Lord is ready, a whole bunch of people are going to come in, man. Okay? That's for the most high to do, man. Our job is just to bring the word out. And that's it. It says, verse 5, And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done, he enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and the net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they would come and help them. And they came and filled both the fishes, so they began to sing. Matter of fact, is this? You keep reading if you see something here. There's another point I want to pull. Oh no, nah, this is this is key, man. This is key. Let me read on. It says, When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Yahweh Shai's knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished. And all that were with him at the draught of the fishes when they had taken. And as so also James and John, the sons of Debedee, Zebedee, which were partners with Simon, and Yahweh shot a sound to Simon, fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. The elect, man. The elect, man. So those fishes, the sheep, the fruit, is the elect, man. Bring forth fruit, meat for repentance, man. And all our people are not meat for repentance. Okay? Matthew chapter 13. Okay, and, and why am I saying that? Because you got guys having Israelite award shows, man. You guys are going off, man. That's not what we're sent out here to do, man. Okay? You guys are mocking the word of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, man. Matthew chapter 13, verse 47. Okay, we had achieved the victory in the kingdom. We're gonna have all kind of celebrations and parties, man. Right now, the time for that, man. Oh man, Jake is crazy, man. We get scriptures on that later on. Right now, about this preset. Chapter 13, verse 47. Maybe it's a pass. Precepts, man, that I'm gonna get out.
So that passed now. Now let me read this. Matthew chapter 13, verse 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net. I just read that in Luke the fifth chapter. Because that fish was really talking about men. Okay, symbolic, man. And that's what the fish are for the elect, man. That's what Yahweh Shai said this. Matthew 13, 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea, which are the people, Revelation the 19th chapter, and gathered every gathered every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. Okay? And the bad is getting cast away, man. The most high is sifted in the house of Israel. And certain stumbling blocks are set up. Okay, that's why King David, like I read Psalms the 51st chapter last week, he prayed what? To never take that Holy Spirit from me. So shall I be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. And they shall cast them into the furnace of fire. They shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And those are not occupied in prophecy. You're going to get what? Cast into fire. Okay? And I'm going to read precepts on that, man. Read scriptures on that, man. Matter of fact, let me read Matthew 25. I got to get into the scriptures now, man, because dudes that's doing that, you're not preparing Israel for the evil day. You're not preparing Israel, man. Read Matthew, the 25th chapter. Then the Lord said, occupied till I come, man. You're supposed to be out here working, man. Okay? Like Paul said, doing the work of evangelists. Let me get 2 Timothy 4. All these scriptures popping in my mind. Second Timothy chapter four verse three. Let me start from verse one. Second Timothy four and one. I charge thee, therefore, before the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. And the kingdom is coming, man. That's what Yahweh Shai say, say, go ye out and preach that the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. All right. Verse two. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. This is in season. Out of season was winter, fall. A lot of guys took it off. Okay? It's obviously that what? You can't be a man of the Lord. Hope you're not filming me. Hope you're not filming And if you are, may that be a curse unto you, man. And your family. And your grandkids, man. Okay? We read on. Some damn goop, man. We read on. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. But you know the scripture says what made us man. What are you doing? What are you doing? You you understand English? What are you doing? Oh, I said don't don't be filming me. Oh, oh. Sorry, oh, sorry. No problem, no problem. All right. First Corinthians, Second Timothy, chapter four, where it says, "Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine is the right doctrine, okay? And only the elders, the apostles, is really pushing, pushing for you to prepare yourself, man. All these other groups ain't pushing, man. Okay, we calling shit straight, man. 
These are the guys who they want to build in America. They want to have families in America. Okay? They not preparing for the evil day. They don't want the kingdom of the most high to come, man. They got ulterior motives. They got other goals. Okay? We want this shit to end today, man. Hell, yesterday, man. That's the spirit you're supposed to be in. Okay? We're not trying to build it. You got other camps with the uh, Israelite parties and award shows. I'm not saying that you can't have a good time, but you have to know the time you win. And, and these scriptures, they're supposed to know. The leaders, man. That whole thing, that's just played out, just knowing you're an Israelite, man. That's just, that's whack now, man. You gotta be the Israel of the Most High, man. Israel of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. And Yahweh Shah was about his father's business. Okay, let me read on. Jew says, endure sound doctrine. And the doctrine is to eat this road, learn it, and go out there and prophesy, man. And the scripture's gonna tell you what? We're gonna read on. But after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers, have an itching ear. So a lot of you guys shouldn't even be teachers, man. Okay? Part of being a teacher, or aka a prophet, you're supposed to be warning your people, man. Whether they listen or not. Okay? Like Amaziah told Amos, go, go prophesy to Judah. He was getting on their nerves. That's what we're supposed to do, man. We're supposed to get on people's nerves, man. That's what the prophets are set up to do, man. We're, we're set up to agitate and hurt you people, man. Okay? Oh, lust, I heap to themselves, teachers have an itch in ears. They shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Or oh, watch down all things. He's supposed to be watching. Watching for the prophecies. Watching for martial law, the chip, race riots. Okay? Natural disasters, disease warfare, and of course, World War III. And whatever terror the Most High gonna bring on here, man. Did that video not too long back. They said a ship is missing that went off the coast, I believe, out the Philippines or Vietnam. We did the video on how the Most High gonna release Leviathan, man. He's gonna release the Kraken, man. Anyway, it says, but watch down all things, endure afflictions. So he's supposed to be enduring tribulation. Hell, man. Is it comfortable? Absolutely not. It's not comfortable. It's not supposed to be comfortable. Because you were sent here to serve out your captivity. Okay, the scripture says you shall go to your enemy for the want of all things. That's why I just did a video through the spirit um, on Black Wall Street. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, Greenwood. And how white, a white woman lied and said that a black man supposedly raped her. And that caused which the white locals wanted to destroy that town anyway. It was the most prosperous Negro town in all of America. And who was with it? It was the most high was with destroying that town, man. Because the scripture says what? Endure afflictions, man. Do the work of an evangelist. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Try to convert people to the faith, man. Okay? The elect, of course. Full proof of thy ministry. You're supposed to make full proof of your ministry, man. That's our job, man. To make full proof, man. Study and go out there and teach, man. Okay? And we publish the teaching on the internet. And we let the Most High do the rest. Okay? Let me read, let me read a precept. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. Let me get on that now, man. The precept I had in my mind. Oh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, man. We're not the classics, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything, there's a season and a purpose that. And a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to born and a time to die. Okay? A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Okay? And America's gonna get plucked up. Okay, we in that time right now. 
Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace, man. There's a time for war and there's a time of peace. What time period are we living in? What time period are we living in, man? Okay? So these other guys, they going off, man. You know what I mean? And you know, we try to um, warn it, um, dudes like that. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay? Matter of fact, let me read Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. This was a showdown between Hananiah, which was a false, wicked, demonic prophet, and the prophet Jeremiah. And of course, Israel sat, sided with Hananiah, man, who was preaching peace in time of um, war, man. And that's you got these other camps, man. You got the house of Saul, you got the house of David. I'm going to read all them precepts, man. In fact, I think I'm going to have to read that whole chapter. Let's get a uh, full understanding of what's taking place. Because this is taking place right now. You got the Jeremiah's and you got the Hananiah's. The Jeremiah's, which represent the elect, is out there rebuking Israel, condemning Esau and the other nations. Okay, and at the same time, handing out warnings, man. And the Hananiah's are preaching peace, having parties, Israelite parties and Israelite award shows, man. They got all them women out of order, man. I say you don't have women in the congregation. The scriptures is very clear on that. Okay, this is a what? A sanctuary of men. Okay, the women stay at home, man. She was said if they will learn anything, let them ask their husband at home. Okay, the most I ain't dealing with that Christian spirit, man. That black Christian spirit, man. Jumping up and down, rolling on the floor, acting like a bunch of idiots, man. Those are harlot houses. Okay? All kind of wickedness going on in churches. And you can't integrate that into the truth, man. Okay? Most High is calling men. Point blank, period. Jeremiah 28 and 1. And it came to pass the same year in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year in the fifth month, that Hananiah, the son of Azar, the prophet, which was of Gibeon, spake unto me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priest, and all the people saying. What's happening right now? Verse 2. Thus speaketh Yahweh Shimei Shah, the power of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Niggas lying, man. Hananiah was a liar, man. Okay? With two four years will I bring again into this place all the vessels of the Lord's house, Yahweh Shimei Shah. The Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried them to Babylon. So he's lying, man. So the Most High is going to restore Jerusalem in two full years. Everything that Nebuchadnezzar took is going to restore it back. And I will bring again to Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, with all the captains of Judah that went into Babylon, saith the Habashim al Shah. So he's lying, saith the Lord. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priest, and the presence of all the people that stood in the house of the Lord, at Yahweh Yahusha. Even the prophet Jeremiah said, Amon, the Lord, at Yahweh Yahusha, do so. Yahweh Yahusha, perform thy words, which thou hast prophesied, to bring again the vessels of the Lord's house that is carried away captive from Babylon into this place. Nevertheless, hear thou this word that I speak. Boss, man. What's going on, man? Oh, you look good. Yeah, appreciate that. You too, good? man. Yo, you, I'm losing it, bro. No, yeah. more, no more junk food. I see it. You say you, you, um, you, was on, you, changed, you said you were vegan now or something like that? No, no. I'm, I'm just eating healthy and I started, I started working out. I haven't smoked a cigarette in three months. I'm so glad, bro. Yeah, that's you look good, good, man. You think? Yeah, man. I'm trying, man. I can see you gaining more knowledge every day. Yeah. Even though you already had it, but I see you getting more. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Yeah. All right. 
And all praise the Yahweh Shem Yal man. You know what I mean? That's the Most High, man. You know? Most High gonna raise up his men, man. And we gonna get raised, risen up in these last days. All right, let me read on though. It says, uh, Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before the abode prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's what the prophets are sent out to do, man. We are set up to have no Israelite parties, no award shows, no telling Israel to have a good time. We set up to what? Let's read it again. This is a classic scripture, man. The prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries. The main country on the Most High's hit list, Amos 9 and 8, the eyes of the Lord is on a sinful kingdom, is America, Babylon, man. Because you got nothing but perverse spirits out here, man. The city of confusion is going to be broken down. Okay? Here we read on. Many countries. That grace great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay? So the most high gonna send war here, evils and pestilences on America. This is where you're supposed to be warned in Jacob out, man. This is where you're supposed to be warned in Jacob out, man. Okay, you letting our people have their guard down when hell is coming, man. Israel don't learn, man. Verse 9. The prophet which prophesied peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, that shall the prophet be known that Yahweh Shem Shah have truly sent him. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and break it. And Hananiah spake in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar king. And that's all these soothsayers today, man. That's all these guys who sold out. They teaching them lies, man. Okay? It says, uh, And Hananiah spake unto the prince of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Even will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all the nations, within the space of two full years, and the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Marie, what happened after this? Are we good? Good. Good, good, good. It says, um, And the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet, after that Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Go and tell Hananiah, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast broken the yoke of wood, but thou make, the, make for them yokes of iron. But thus saith the Hawaii Hawashah of hosts, the power of Israel, I put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations, that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him. And I have given him the beast of the field also. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord hath not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie, man. And that's all these guys are teaching these lies, man. Okay, teaching peace, man. First of all, war, death, and destruction is coming to America, man. That's coming. That's the truth, man. Okay? Read it again. That's a powerful scripture. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah, the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, Yehawah, Yehawah Shai, have not sent thee, man. So if you were teaching this doctrine, or the truth, or warning Israel, the Most High is sent you. The Most High did not send you guys, man. You guys are imposters, man. And it's either you repent or you get put to death. Which the majority you're going to choose the lies anyway. Read on. Thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, or Yahweh Shem Yal Shah, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth this year. Thou shalt die, because thou have taught rebellion against the Most High, man. And Hananiah did die, okay? That's a prelude. That's what? That's an example to all you false prophets out there, man. And the Most High gonna deal with you, man. 
Because the Most High is sent you. And that's what you call what? Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Because you guys know the truth, but you're perverting it. What did y'all try to say? Matthew 12, 31. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all men of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven, man. I'll read that again, 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all men of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. Okay? You read on down. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him. And you guys are speaking against the Holy Spirit, man. Because you're perverting the truth, man. And you know the truth. You see, but you want to teach rebellion in Israel. And that's what the Most High dealt with Hananiah, man. He got a lot of Hananiahs out there, man. That's how he pronounced his name. Read Isaiah 56 and 8. Bringing out this word, man. This is what we set up to do, man. Well, first of all, the kingdom going to be a lifelong vacation. That's when we going to party. And the award ceremony is when Yahweh Shai crowned the elect. So I guess I'm going to read that too. That'll probably be the next segment. Isaiah chapter 56 verse 8 It says The Lord which gathered No, no, no It says um, Oh yeah, verse 10 Isaiah 56 and 10 The watchmen are blind They're all ignorant They're all dumb dogs They cannot bark What are dogs supposed to do? Warn you that intruders are coming What do you think Caleb means what? Dog is supposed to warn you that what intruders are coming, man. That's what the Most High set us up, man, to warn you that the wolf is coming. John the 10th chapter. But a lot of Jews, what? They're hirelings. Okay? Just like Ananias, they're what? They're preaching peace in times of war. Okay? That's why when this destruction comes to pass, a lot of you Jake's gonna end up taking a microchip. Gonna end up taking the chip. Because why? You weren't trimming your lamps. You weren't trimming your lamps. Okay? We trying to grow in the spirit every day, man. Okay? You trying to be a better Israelite, man. We're newborn creatures, man. We're returning back to our heritage. That's why we've been uh, fasting more. That's something I've been doing more too. All brought that you how you shop for that. Alright? About fasting and praying, man. And growing in the spirit, man. Let me read on. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen. And that's what a watchman's supposed to warn, man. They said, well, his watchmen are blind. They're all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Okay, they're not on their watch. But it have a good say. Say, I would stand upon my watch, man, and see what he would say unto me. Okay, now that's what a prophet says. Ezekiel 33, a watchman. Verse 11, yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And that's these wicked ass starting with these Israelites, man. These wicked Israelite teachers, man. That's underneath 501c3 charters. And then you got the average two-third pastor. They fall underneath that as well because they are um, shepherds of the flock. They're teaching lies, man. Alright? They're all greedy dogs which shall never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. And they look to their own way, every one of his game from his quarter, man. See? That's our that's our people, man. That's why we don't collect nothing for this word, man. Okay, as we freely received it, we freely given it out. Okay? 
didn't uh, we didn't have to pay money to learn this thing and we ain't charging Jake so it, and it don't cost money to get right man okay brothers don't put no um like these other cans like IGJC charge me for 30 percent tights that guy was the devil charge the doctor and he got them um them simpletons in there paying his legal fees man he's another nigga man that the most high is gonna do away with man that's what the FBI started taking this guy down embezzling money okay the scripture says a greedy dog can never have enough Ezekiel chapter 3 is it still on yep Over, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou. Find us, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. What's the roll? The entire Bible. Like Yahweh Shai said, Hebrews 10 and 7, and lo, I come in the volume of the book, for it is written of me. I am the word of the Most High. Okay? Proverbs in the 8th chapter got to eat this book. That's just saying, whosoever eat it of my flesh, which they didn't understand that John the 6th chapter, which I have everlasting life. Okay, he's talking about getting, getting this book, man. Like Ezekiel said, he ate the roll, man. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, thy belly Go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and to fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I eat it, and it was in my mouth as sweet. It was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And that's when you first come into this knowledge, it is sweet. Okay? At first, because you learn about you're an Israelite, the Lord is a dark-skinned man. We're the chosen people of the kingdom of the Most High who have nations of slavery, subjection, concubines, wives. That's it. Okay. That's the sweet part, man. What? It said what? He said unto me, Son of Man. Son of Man, go thee into the house of Israel and stay with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to people of these strange people. And they have a hard language, but to the house of Israel. In fact, it says, um, verse 7, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto them. For they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard hearted. Well, there you go, man. Scripture says that you are stiff necked people, man. Okay? Stick next. And these are dudes that's in the truth, man. Most side gonna hand out a lot of death certificates to see a lot. Those guys who ain't warning Jake, man. Okay, the most side said that what you're impudent. You're hard-hearted, man. Which means that you're most bold in your wickedness. Man. Bold, man. You know scripture I want to read? Now I jump to the next segment.
Revelation chapter 10, verse 8. I heard a voice from heaven saying, Speak unto me and said, Go and take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel, the, the Bible man, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it.